hello guys how are you today and welcome to my youtube channel it's your boy again Timidri Abare. and today i'm going to share another fantastic smm script to you guys and before i go ahead with the installation there's what i need to tell you guys i know some of you feel disappointed that i've been monetizing my script these days so actually when i started this channel i don't have the intention of selling script for anybody i just want to do what i know how to do best but i think that should be last two months or last month so one of the developers of this script contacts me and they told me they don't want me to start sharing this script for free again now if not they're going to report me to to youtube so i thought the guy was joking so i just ignored the email so before i know so this is what i saw last month last month that was so th this uh shiny evaluation just pop up in my dashboard so i know it's one of those guys so because of this i don't want anything to happen to my channel because this is what i've been working on for a very long time now so i have to change the orientation so that's just the reason i start monetizing the script so i don't want you guys to feel disappointed okay so that's just the reason so and today video i want to share so this particular script i want to share is called smm lab a social media marketing smm platform you know i've share i've share smm panel smm uh, matrix but this particular one is different so i want you guys to feel this particular one and just compare with the previous one i've shared okay so this is an smm lab it's a professional share media marketing solution that comes with php laravel it's developed for those people who want to start their smm business websites over 80 percent of business executives and they find social media as an integral part of their business okay so i'm very sure that anybody that come across this smm panel know what they do with it i don't need to start telling you what you're going to do with it okay because if you say if you say uh facebook view uh, facebook comments likes follower if you say social media followers like uh, youtube comments youtube subscribers so this is the best software you need to monetize your services okay so um before i start talking too much let me go into the installation tutorial so and now the first thing to do now if you want to install this software what you need to do is to head into your control panel once you are inside your control panel you click on your file manager okay i'm inside my file manager now and i'm going to install this script inside my subdomain so here's the subdomain i want to install it okay so now i need to upload my file okay before you can get access to this file you need to download this and once you download it you extract it and from there you move over to the file you are going to upload so here is it here is the here is my folder and here are the files inside the folders so this particular files this particular one that is zip so this is the one i need to upload right now okay so let me upload it you click on select file You choose the file you want to upload and you open it. All right, the script is done uploading, it's on represent. Okay, so I'm going to refresh my a folder okay so here's the file i just upload uploaded now 
So I'm going to extract this file now by clicking on extract, extract. So, okay. Okay. All right. So I need to move these, these files now. I need to move them into my main directory. Don't be surprised. This is my subdomain. I need to move this file. Okay. The reason I move this this files from the files folder is if I want to install it, I will need to include this folder. So I don't want to include it. Okay. So let's take for example, I'm supposed to install from here. Yeah, I will need to include this files. So I don't want to include this. So that's the reason I move those files out of this particular folder. Okay. All right. So the next thing now is to create a database. So you click on my my SQL database wizard to create. And I'm going to choose my my database name, which is scripts. Next step, I'm going to create a database username, which is the same thing. So here I'm going to generate password for my, for my database. I'm going to create on user. The third step is to choose, you click on all privileges and click on next step. Yeah, I'm done creating my database and user name. I'm going to return to home. Okay, so now let me go back to my SMM lab folder. I want to check out the documentation and how to install this script okay so how to install upload the old file to the server you have downloaded from me all of the pushes extract on zip file move files in the files folder to the main folder like what i said remember i told you i'm going to move all the all the files inside this folder to my main folder which is script.semidiabai.com make sure you have moved in this dot php and dot htss as well okay so let me move this in this dot php and, and this files so I'm doing this based on the instruction they gave here. Okay. So the next thing I is to install my okay. okay so this is the instruction they gave here that if you want to install this script what you need to do is to is to open this you open this url and once you copy this you paste this in the new tab 
So this particular place, your site URL, you are going to change it to your website URL. So that this is what I did there. So I've changed it to my website URL. So let me, let us continue. Okay. So this is the installation interface, time of use. So here now, click on I agree to take it to next step. Okay, requirements. Before we can move forward, we are told to enter this folder and change the, the permission. Okay, that is called bootstrap catch. Uh, bootstrap cache is square or seven or seven seven five or seven seven five. So we are told to change the permission from the default. The default is oh seven five five. So oh seven seven five. Click on save. So we, we move to the next one. Storage. Go back. Sorry. Storage. Seven five five. Okay. So we are told to change this to O seven five five. O seven seven five also. We are changing from 0755 to 0775. So the next one is up. So 0775. 0775. Save. So the next one is a framework. Framework is O seven seven five or so O seven seven five and the next one is locks O seven seven five seven seven five save so the last one here the dot ht access should be should be available in the root directory so let me check okay remember i move cost storage log is square let me check Oops. I'm sorry, my IP just changed now, so I was logged out. So let me log back. Okay. So this this particular one did not complete because I was logged out. So let me check again. Okay. So the last one is the dot HT access should be available. Remember, they told us to move index.php and dot access 
from the main from the main folder but now because we have started the installation so i was told to change it back to bring in to bring this particular htss to the root folder so let's let's do that now so here is where i kept it so i'm going to move it back to the root folder i'm going to move it so this is my root folder scripts.similarize.com okay all right so let me check again yeah requirements check pass so now the next step you click on next step to move forward so here this is my website url where i want the script to be installed so just hold on, let me check this so i can know it's empty as you can see it's empty so they are requesting for your database name uh, okay sorry let me go and copy our database name here is my database name and the database name and the username they are the same thing as the username so i'm going to it here okay so my database name so the database host is local host database password copy it so you create the admin username so i'm going to create my admin username now okay let me use this as the password or let me use admin as the username okay so make sure okay, let me put my email So make sure all your informations are where entered. Make sure everything is correct and click on. So when you are done installing your, your panel, the next thing to do is to head over to your file manager, the folder or the directory you install your panel. Okay where you extract your your files okay so just come back to the folder and remember in the installation tutorial so we're told to so normally in this particular script once you are done installing everything and everything is in order what you need to do is to you you delete the install folder so i'm going to delete the install folder now click on delete and you go back to this particular folder remember this is the folder you move all your files you move all these files this asset core 
they were they were in this files folder before but i have to move it out and and this particular folders now so this particular folders contain our dot ht access and index dot php so let me open this file now because for now because these two files if you remember the instruction the instruction here is that extract unzip the files and move all files in the in the files in, in the files okay move all the files in these five folders to the main folder if you don't understand let me just explain okay remember this is the zip file you upload if you upload and extract this file you are going to see something like this so this to file these two folder asset and call they are inside this folder initially when you extracted it okay so what you, what they mean here is you need to move those these two folders you need to move the, these two folder asset and call to the main directory you move it out from here and again so during installation we were told we were told to move those index and dot access from the main directories so because of that i have to move i have to move it to this file folder okay so now if you check this my this my directory now okay sorry So this is it now. No, as you can see now, there's nothing coming up now. The reason why nothing is coming up is because these two files are inside this folder. So if you want everything to come up now, when we load this page, so we need to move these files out of this folder. This does index index.php and ACSS. We need to move it out to the main directory and the main directory is script.temidrawbarry.com so i'm going to move it out now so if you move it out and if i refresh this page now as you can see now so the main website have come up now so this is how the front end look so it has different functions just like the previous one so these are the main these are the front end looks like okay so now i want to log into the admin admin panel so if you want to log in to the admin panel so you put splash admin so i'm going to load it now okay so this is how the admin panel look like this is how it looks so the request you input your username and password okay so remember during the installation process i created my username and password so i'm going to input it right now My username is admin. Why right, this is my password? So I'm going to input my password and log in. Okay, so when I log in, there's a pop-up that that's come up. So I was told to please set cron job now to automate the API order placement. We need to set the cron job and make sure the cron job is running properly. Set the cron time as minimal as possible. Once per five to fifteen minutes is ideal. Why once every minute is the best option? Okay, so I'm going to copy this command now, and I'm going to go to my 
it's my current job so it's necessary to set it up at once okay this is cron job so what it what they said is once per five to fifteen minutes idea why once per once why once every minute is best once every minute is best once per So these are the previous one I have here before. Let me delete them. So I don't want you to, to be confused. Okay, so once you are done setting the cron job, go back to the dashboard. So this is how the dashboard look like. So this is the dashboard. Second option is API provider. So if you want to set your API provider, so this is the page I'm going to set it up. So the next one is category. And the next one is uh, services. So this is manage order. Is this particular page is where you manage all your order. So let's move to the next section. This way you manage your, your users, register member, this way you manage them, and this way you manage your payment gateway. As you can see, this particular script supports different payment gateway, authorized blockchain, cash man, coins be commerce, coin gate, coin payment, coin payment fears, flutter with Easter Mojo. Macado, Pago, Moli, NMI, Pia, Paper, Paper Express, Paystack, PTM, Perfect Money, Resort, Pay, Scree, Stripe, Hosted, Stripe, Soft Funds, Stripe, Checkout, and Vogue Pay. So, so they also support manual gateway. If you want to, if you want to input manual gateway like back, back air uh, bank payments bank transfer so this is what the manual gateway is all about deposit so this is where you are going to be seeing your deposit approved deposit successful deposit rejected initiated and here yeah, this is the support ticket so your your members can create a ticket from their end so this way you are going to respond to their ticket and here are reports for transaction log logging history so any activity that is going on in your in your platform so this way you are going to be seeing the report so this is the general settings so here 
inside these general settings you can change your website name to anything you like you can change the currency you can change the symbols here you can also change the time zone okay so let's go to these uh, subscribers these subscribers are these are people that subscribe to your to your newsletter so sorry let's go to the front end okay this is the f sorry so anybody that subscribe here anybody that inputs their email here so you're going to see the email here you're going to see their email here so this is is how this subscriber page works so the system configuration if you want to disable your user registration and do it here you want to enable ssl agree policy for secure password email verification so anything you want this the platform to do so this is what you're going to set it up as you can see here this is system configuration so if you have if your uh, website have a logo this way you are going to change the logo so this is uh, a station so this station now uh, this particular one is facebook comments google analytics this one is for this one is for chatting so if you want to they are disabled so if you want to configure them this is where you are going to enable it so uh, the next one is the language okay so if you are not if your country is not an english speaking country so you can change you can change your your language okay so the supported language here is uh, english hindi bangladesh and spanish so you can add new language here yeah? Okay, so here is this. The next one is this SEO manager. So if you want, if you want, uh uh if you want your site to be found via google search engine so th this is where you are going to set it up so this is a meta description and your title so if you want to be if you want to be acquiring your traffic via search engine so you need to put keywords the keywords your prospective customer are looking for so you are going to use those keywords to write a description okay so here is the notification so this is the notification so this the way this notification work is like it work for registration if any of your member register on your platform so they are going to receive these formats that okay welcome to to social platform maybe i'm going to greet them hello good morning good evening so this way i'm going to set it and i even greet them with their full name or the username okay let's go to email settings so inside the email settings you can you can change how your platform work you can change the sending method from php mail to sntp so this sntp so you are going to go to your hosting and the hosting we have all this so you can use all the hosting configuration to set up this so that if anybody register to be your your member you are going to to receive an email that member is also going to receive an email so the system will be automated to send auto automated email to members okay 
So that is what the email notification is all about. And this is SMS notification. So if you want any activity that happen on your platform, if you want your user to, to receive those activities via an SMS, so you can activate this particular method. So these are the SMS gateway that this platform supports. Click at uh, info beef, info beef message bed. Next move, SMS broadcast, three load, test magic and custom API. Okay. So this is notification template. So inside this notification template, you can edit it and fine tune it to your own to your own mess formats. Okay. So this one is balance added. So once once a member add the balance, what do you want them to receive as an email or an SMS? So you can change the way it display. Okay. You can fine tune it once you are done. You save it. Okay, let's move to front end manager, manage templates. Okay, so this this particular this particular SMME software supports only one one template and this this template is support unlike matrix matrix supports have like different templates like up to four or five templates so but this particular one supports only one so let's move to manage pages so this is the home page okay all these sections the home about blog contacts accounts the are pages so if you need to change anything if you want to edit the page so you just come to this manage page and you click on edit okay so let's move to manage section about one two three so that's it the same thing the about once the about section one is about this particular list if you need to change anything if you want to input if you want to change this dummy test here and input your own test here so you are going to come to this place click on about section as you can see so this is it so you just input whatever you want to put here so once you are done you want to change the, the image you change the image as well and click on submit so that is it about these pages so the the maintenance go to the maintenance mode okay the maintenance mode is is disabled now if maybe if you want to if you want to do any uh, changes on your website and you don't want it to affect your your members what you just need to do is to disable so click on this disable so once you disable it let me disable it okay and let me click on refresh okay let me submit. So what is maintenance mode? The way it works is maybe if you want to renovate your website, there are some changes you want to do and you don't want the activities to affect your members. So you just have to pass the information here that maybe okay, our our website is under construction. So and the website is going to come live so so this you can put your your email here if they have any urgent agent agent thing they can contact you via this email so i've enabled the maintenance mode now so let me refresh it it's going to be effective okay so as you can see now so it's effective so as you can see hope you can see that same information that is written here display here Okay, so let me let me disable it and save it.
if I refresh, so it has come back on. Oh, no. Okay, so this is GDPR cookies. In some country, in some countries, so I think the the governments, the governments wants each uh, company to display this uh, GDP on their websites just for like data protection policy. So if if you are watching from the country that support the GDP stuff so all you just need to do is to enable it okay so and the next one is uh, the system let me click on application okay so this, this is just your this is just the system settings so the version of these scripts what's the use in building it and your time zone let me go to the server so this is the server is the server configuration okay gosh maybe if there's any changes you made during during the maybe you edit your your site about us or other pages you make changes and you want it to be effective so all you just need to do is to click on clear caches so that once you click on this place that changes will be effective everywhere so that's how the cache works so the next page is the custom css okay if you're a developer and you want to make changes to the to the old website maybe you don't like how the background color is maybe if you want to change from white to black so this is where you are going to to make the changes so make sure you know what you are doing make sure you are a developer before you make any changes here yeah? if you are not a developer i will not advise you to to even come close to this okay so on the last page here is report and request so if there's any reports there's any requests and reports so this is where you're going to to get all of them okay all right so are we stopping here we're stopping here so all i just do is to allow you to see how the the smm lab that should look like and if you find this if you find this video useful so please don't forget to subscribe to this channel and to my subscribers so if there's anything you need to to ask so please comment like and share the video okay so i'm going to see you in my next video so have a good day